Okay, hi everyone. So this is going to be the start of my storing cards video for October. So majority of this clip is just going to be one group, but I'm going to start in this binder first because I only have a few things to put in here. So I just have to go back here all the way back to UMB. So the first thing I have to put away is this Legion card from the FanCon DVD. So I only have this one card. So I'm just going to stick it up there on the top. And then I do have this Marco card and um, I got that to finish out Marco's set for that album. So yeah, there's that. And also um, I did move all my fan site stuff to the back of this binder because I felt like it fit better back here. So that's where I'm keeping it. But that was really all I had to put away in here. All right, so the rest of this stuff goes in here. So this is my boy group's binder, and I have to go all the way back to Uptension. So I have a lot of Uptension stuff because their new album just came out. And I did reorganize this a little bit, but I actually do have more sleeves, like new sleeves, different sleeves coming in for this collection. They're actually six pocket sleeves, but they're like horizontal, so they look like this, but like there's just three pockets on a page instead of eight, which I'm really hoping I end up liking that better because while these work, the pockets are a little bit too small, um, so they poke out a little bit and they also move a lot, so I'm hoping those new ones work. If they don't, I'm going to be a little bit devastated, but... So I just have stuff for their new album. Okay, so I guess I'll just start here. So I just have a few circle cards, so I pulled both of Zhao's. So I have this one, so that's just going to go down here. And then I have this one as well. Yeah, that one's just going to go up here. So then Juanis will go next to it once I get it. Um, and then I just do have a lot of stuff for the new album to put away so go back here um i set it up uh this way so i have which version goes in which in this corner up here so light spectrum version one and two and then light hunter version one and two go here and then k-town for you pre-orders go here i'm only really keeping one set because there's 14 total i have one full set and then an extra one so i'm just keeping all eight of those putting them all on this page then we have mmt and then i do have this page for make star cards and I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna get the make star cards yet but um, I'm leaning towards yes but I'm still not sure but I guess we'll figure that out if I get them but really yeah I have this all all set up so I'm gonna go ahead and put away the few cards I do have um, and since there's two versions per like version I guess I'm guessing these are the two different backs they have because all of my cards have this kind of back I don't know I'm kind of confused but then this is the only one that's kind of different so, I don't know, we'll see. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put all of these cards on the same page for now. Um, if I need to switch them up later, I will, based on, like, their version. So, let's see. I think that's all I have. No, I have Eugen, too. Do I? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, you have Shackle here. This card is super cute. You can put Kuhn on the top. Okay, and Bitto here. This card is super cute. I love it so much. And then... Sanyo here, and Gyujin here. I'm really hoping I can finish out this, because there's a, lot, there's a lot more cards than I was really expecting at first. So then, okay, yeah, I need to go here. So for this version, I have considerably less. I just have three cards, because they pulled a lot of duplicates. So I have Kuhn, Sanyo, and Gyujin. Gyujin goes here. See, I know their age order relatively well, but it's still kind of hard, considering how often their lineup kind of does what it does but um yeah so i just have to put cards here actually before i do this i'm gonna go to, i didn't i guess i didn't set up for the bookmarks so give me a second okay so i have a few three pocket pages i'm thinking they'll fit i don't see why they wouldn't so i'm just putting in three for right now i don't know exactly how many i need but we'll see i was initially only going to keep 20 and Zhao's, but i ended up pulling like a good amount of them and i really like them so i think i'm gonna I mean, keep a few of them. I don't really have a reason not to, but so I pulled Huani and Zhao, so that's nice. I'm going to put them in first. I'll put Huani on top because he's older. Yeah, these fit really perfectly. And then I'm keeping Sunyo, Bito, and Gyujin. So I guess I'll put these ones in age order. So, well, like, we'll put my biases first and then age order after that. See, they look really nice. I think. Um, I don't know if I'll try to collect them all, though. We'll have to see about that. And then, Gyujin. 
And then I'm keeping two of these. I pulled a lot of Gujin. I think I only pulled Xiao and Gujin. And I just I had a ton of Gujin duplicates, so um, I'm just gonna yeah put these here. These really do fit perfectly. I love it. Okay, so I might add to that. I might not. I don't know. But yes. So then we can go back here. Um, so next is the K-Town for You set. So these are all the cards I have. So I just have, this is the extra one I have. And then this is the full set I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them in. I mainly wanted to film this clip now because I just don't want to lose track of what's what in terms of like pre-order cards and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and re-sleeve all these and then I'll be right back. All right. So all of them are sleeved now. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all this out. Uh, I did run on the paper, so I have to use like like flimsy not good paper that I don't like using for my binders but it's fine because it's just well first of all it's just paper and second of all they're just temporary fillers anyway so it doesn't matter okay so here we go somebody needs to tell Kogil to stop taking his selfies like this because it is infuriating <laughs> they're cute of course but he just like the sideways photo card not good Honey and Xiao, and then of course I have an extra Xiao, so I'm gonna put him on the back of himself, so it'll just look like that. So that's really nice. I'm gonna take this off, and then we can go to MMT. I have a full set of cards from my music taste, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleep these as well, and then I'll be right back. Just need to take these out really quick. Okay, so these ones are like all out of order. We have another sideways selfie. It's super cute, but the sideways cards. Okay, Pawnee, Kyujin, Sunyol, Xiao, and of course another sideways, Kogil. Of course, so I'll take that off. And so that's what that set looks like, really nice. And then this is what the back looks like. So it's kind of fun because I have like Two different backs. Yeah, that's that's that. And these are all like the circle cards I pulled. I'm unsure if I want to collect them all because they're really nice, but I just, I'm not sure. So I'm not gonna put them away for now. But yeah, that was it for this clip. I just wanted to get everything in because I was like afraid I'd forget what everything was. And I don't know, my life is kind of a mess right now. I feel like also if I don't pay attention and do stuff right away, I'm just gonna lose stuff, which would be bad, so. Yeah, but that was everything for this clip. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, hi. So I'm back and um, I just have some Super M and Uptension stuff to put away today. So I'm going to get started on that. Uh, get started in my NCT binder. So I'm just going to go... Actually, I need to go here first. So I did get Ten's postcard for this album, so that's fun. All I need is Lucas's, and it's not that big of, of a priority, so if I get it, you know, it's fine. If I don't, it's also fine. But let's see. I need to go here. So I've actually finished out this page with both Mark and Ten, so that's really fun. Finding trades for this, for like all of my Super M stuff was like the easiest thing I've ever done, so. And it's also kind of like crazy how many people like messaged me about the same cards and stuff. It's interesting. So I just have a few IDs to put away here. So I have tens from this version. Also, I have Lucas's. So that is complete. And then I also have Taeyong's blue ID. I should have all of the rest of these coming besides, well, I don't know about Ten and Lucas for the, like, the blue version, but I know for the green I have Ten and Lucas on the way, so we're working on it, but yes, that was all I had to put away here. All right, so lastly, like I said, I have some obtention things to put away. So, let's see. Okay, so I just have, I decided that I want to collect full group for the bookmarks and the circle cards because well I don't really have a reason to it's just I'll probably end up with them all anyway so why not just go with it you know so I have spaces ready for all of them and um, I'm not sure why I didn't put a, this coon in last time but yeah so this is just what I have for that as of right now I decided to do it um, organize it this way so I have 
the first six members here in age order of course and then Xiao on this page by himself and then I did reverse age order this way so that's how that'll look and then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the circle cards right here I do have different sleeves for the circle cards coming but they're just not here yet they might take a while so you know I'm just gonna put the other members that aren't Quani and Xiao on this page so actually I'm gonna start down here so we have Kun, Kogil, Sunny will go here and then Gugin here so the pages, the new pages I'm getting are actually six pockets, so I'll be doing it that way when those come in. And then for the other version, I just have two, of course. So I'll put Kyujin here. That's how I did it, right? So then Bito go here. And yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just assuming I'll end up with a lot of these things, so I don't really have a reason not to collect full group for them. Um, but I guess my main focus is going to be like the normal album photo cards and stuff like that, so... That's what I'm going to be trying to work work on, so. But I do have a few more albums coming, so we'll see where that gets me. But yeah, that was everything for this quick clip. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, hi. So I have another clip here. Um, and um, I have quite a few things to put away because I just got my uh, latest Miyokio package. So I have quite a few things in there. So yeah, I'm going to start off here in my twice binder because I don't have very many things to put away here. So yes, I can go back to more and more. These are the cards I need to put away. So... Um, I just have this Momo, and that would finish out this set here. So I'm really happy to see this finished. It looks really nice. I love this set. And then we have this Nyan here. So as of right now, um, this is the only set I have stuff I need. And I have purchased Jungyun and Jui. I just need to get my hands on Dahyun, and then this set will be complete, and I will have finished more and more. But yes, I also have Momo for this set here and that finishes this set obviously so again a really nice set to have finished i'm really happy to have that done all looks really nice yeah i think this was the easiest set to collect um i guess i thought this set would be a little bit harder to come by but was not actually how it turned out and this set was actually the hardest to collect so yeah with that said we can move on so oh okay so this is uh, my NCT binder that I will be going through next. Let's see, where do I need to go? I need to go, let's see, here actually. So this is my tentative setup for residents. So I have all the cards split up between units like I did for Empathy. And as of right now, I have this set up for three members because I'm thinking I'm going to collect Johnny for sure because my plan is I'm going to focus on finishing my top six, uh, Taeyong, Yuta, Jino, Ten, Lucas, and Xiaojun. And then after that, I will collect other members that I want to collect, and that includes Johnny, Yang Yang, Mark, and Jahan. I have this set up for Johnny because I think he'll be a lot easier to get my hands on rather than Mark or Jahan. So I'm thinking I'll for sure be able to collect Johnny, just I'm not entirely sure about Mark or Jahan. As of right now, I did pull this Taeyong card. I just got my first two albums today. So yeah, this was one of my pulls. I got a little bit lucky. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for that. I'm not entirely sure how easy or hard it'll be to get these cards. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really not sure. So the collecting aspect of this album has stressed me out a little bit because I know people are going to be overpricing and making it just really difficult when it doesn't need to be. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But that was all I needed to put away in this section. So I do need to go back to Super M. And I need to go here. I have Ten's green ID. And then I also have Lucas's green ID. And then I also have Lucas's blue ID. So yeah, and I also have a trade setup for Ten's blue ID. So I just have this Taeyong green ID that I need to somehow get my hands on. And I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go. Mostly because the card... I have Kai's green ID up for trade, but nobody wants the card, um, and people are overpricing the IDs, so, of course, you know. But anyways, yeah, I also have two units to put here, so I'm gonna put Taemin and Taeyong first, and then Kai and Ten here, and then, let's see, I have finished the postcards, so I have Taeyong's here. And then Lucas's will go on top. Okay, 
so yeah, here's Taeyong, Ken, Lucas, Mark, and the two groups. And then I forgot, I do also have another Taeyong card to put away. I don't know how I forgot about that. But I do have, let's see, move it over. I have this Taeyong card to finish my the final round collection. So here is that, super cute. All right, and yeah, there's that. You can not see that. Yeah, there you go, complete. I'm super excited to have this entirely complete now. Makes my life a lot easier, um, and I just am able to focus primarily on residence now, so. And let's see. I did reorganize my binders quite a bit, so yeah, I just, I'm not really gonna go through it because it's not necessary, but, cause you'll, you'll see it soon in my updated photo card collection, but I got these two Nature Republic postcards, so um, I'm just gonna, you know, put them here. And put this one this way, and yeah, that's that. That was everything I had for this binder. Next binder is my boy groups binder. So I actually have quite a few things to put in this binder. Um, but they're all actually AB6, so we're gonna start here. This first page I have is actually um, for these Youngman cards. These are fan-made, um, and I bought these. The main reason I wanted to have these is because I felt like it would be a good way to kind of transition my collection into just other members, I guess. Um, yeah, so... This is what we're doing. Um, so then we can just kind of move forward into my collection of the other members. Cause I, I still don't know exactly how I want to, I don't have like, I don't have a concrete way of how I want to collect them in the future. I just know that I am still collecting them. Um, but for Vivid, obviously I collected Woojin and Dehui. So uh, yeah. So that's just completing the AR set. And then I have this Make Star card here and that completes this page. And then I do have everything else here to complete my collection for this album. I have his three V version cards here. Um, and I'm going to put them in the same way that they are. Like with Dehui. They, it'll kind of like mirror each other, as you can see. I actually like the way this is set up a lot. Um, I could do the 222 method, but it's just, I like this, so. That's how we're doing it. Then we have the eye version. Um, I have the heart go here. Peace sign in the corner. And this one here. So that's what that looks like, the eye version. And then the D version. I couldn't remember which daily card I needed, um, but it is this one. So let's see. Put that one in. So Wujin. All right, so yeah, there's my uh, Vivid collection complete. You can start from the beginning. So yeah, I did collect a lot more from this album than I had originally intended, but I am glad I did. I really enjoy this, these photo cards. Um, yeah, I just really had a fun time collecting them. I enjoyed the process, um, which I can't necessarily say about their last album. I'm, I'm happy that this album kind of let me do what I wanted with my collection. So so if this album was like the same situation as Sixth Sense, I would have stopped collecting AB6. And I know I know that's how it would have ended, but it sucks, but it, like, it just is what it is. Um, and then I have to move back here to Way in the Zone because, um, let's see. Um, I have these two cards. Um, and they're from their second mini album. I just don't know exactly what they're, like, it's hard to explain because they're, they obviously say on the back that they're from their second mini album, but, like, I don't know if they came in the Japanese press of the album or if they're from something else. It's really hard to tell because there's just really no information on it. All I know is that the cards exist and that people are selling them on Mercari Japan. So, yeah, I just, I bought these two Shihen ones and... I plan to get Eason's as well because I really, really love Eason, but they're blonde Eason, so they're like high priority, so I need to get them eventually. But those ones usually sell really fast when they get listed for sale, but regardless, um, I'm just going to put these on the back of Sheehan's other album cards because I don't really have another concrete place to put them, so that is just where, where they'll go for now. I didn't, I didn't really need to 
get them because they're not necessarily an important part of the collection but I still wanted to have them because they're cute so and they're Shehan so you know okay so my last binder here is my um, like Hotshot JBJ and UMB binder so I just have some UMB stuff to put away and I did reorganize this but I'm not really gonna go through it until my um, photo card collection video so yeah you'll see more of that in the future you'll see obviously a little bit of what I did with my UNB section right now basically I just have a whole bunch of field dog cards and I just bought this whole set some of them are album cards some of them aren't so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the boyhood card here the normal version and I'm going to take the limited edition cards that I have out and so I'm just going to uh, put in a new page and I'll just put the cards in so I'm not putting them in any particular order just in age order within the ones that I have I have field dog I'm just gonna put these ones down here Kijun and Baywon so that's just what I have for the limited edition versus the normal edition. Um, this collection is definitely going really slow, so. And then um, we have, these are the limited edition postcards down here. And I don't have anywhere to put field dogs, so um, I'm going to leave that out for now and move to Blackheart. This is, this page alone is just the um, black version. Because there's four different sets. There's the red, black, orange, and blue and this is the black version these are separated because I obviously have six out of the seven that I need and then these are just the rest of the cards so I just have this um, blue blue one so I'm going to stick him in the middle here and that is where I'm at with this collection so that's really fun um, I have more keyjing stuff um, but I do have also both the field dogs Dancon DVD cards so we can put them here. I'm not going to put them in any particular order, of course. Okay, and then the last Field Dog card I have is this um, All of Our Memories DVD card. So I'm just going to stick this one up at the top too. And these, of, of course, get fixed once I get more cards. Um, so yeah, the only things I'm not putting in right now are these two things. I don't really have the sleeves for them, so I will deal with it later. And I guess I forgot about these two, but I will be putting in these uh, Woojin postcards from Vivid, also this Donghan one. I'm going to be putting them in a, at a later time as well. But yeah, that was actually everything for this clip. Um, I'm not sure if there'll be another one before the end of the month, but I guess we'll see. Okay, hi. Um, I'm back for another clip. And today we have in front of me my attention binder. So this is something new. Actually, I'm going to only did this a couple days ago so I gave up tension their own binder because I planned to eventually go back and start collecting OT 10 for them so I haven't set up my binder entirely for that but I do I did give them their own binder like I guess to pre prepare um, I won't really be setting up for this collection until probably next year yeah but with that said I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting away all the things I need to put away I just have a lot of light up stuff to put away so let's see album cards start here so for album cards like normal cards i just have these two cards i need to put away this one does go with this version here so i have i'm about halfway done with this set so that's fun and then i have this card here that goes with this set so um, I guess I'll put this back here because um, I do have, I left this open because I was running out of white fillers and I do actually have this card coming, but it, it probably won't be here for a while anyway, so might as well just, you know, keep the filler in there. But next I need to do, well, I'll do whatever comes next. So we have mixed our cards. So I just got these albums in today. I actually didn't get the full set. I got eight cards, but two were duplicates. That's extremely frustrating. <laughs> But I'm just glad I got six out of the seven because I was sure the um, two packs they gave me of four cards were going to be the same. So anyways, we can go ahead and put them in. So we have Sunniels. These cards are super cute, but there is a second. Oh, I put Sunniel in wrong. Um, there's a second set of Make Star cards that 
probably won't I mean they probably won't be around for a while because I don't I don't know when the second make star event that Uptention are doing is um, whenever those come out I'm gonna try to get Hwani and Xiao's because they're super cute so Gyujin goes here and then Kogil goes here I did not end up getting Kuhn which is frustrating but I'm hoping I can get his card somehow so yeah but then we go here yes I do have Ito's circle card and I actually have all the circle cards for this set now um, so just here and I, I forgot that Juanis is up here Juanis goes here so there's that I have a bookmark let's see I got Juanis so that's fun I was hoping for better pulls from my Make Star albums but it didn't end up happening it's fine though I guess but yeah, so that was everything of tension related I had to put away. So then the last binder we'll go through is my NCT binder. So I just have um, NCT 2020 stuff to put away. I don't know if this page I even need to be... Oh yeah. The first card I have to put away here is this Utah. So it's his past version. Go ahead and put... Actually, no. Um, I'm putting... Okay. I'm putting Utah over here. I forgot I changed the setup because I do have his yearbook card on the way, so it'll go in the middle. Then I'm putting Johnny's cards down here for whenever I get them. And then I do have a Dino card. So this is what I have. I do have his past version as well. So this one's easy in terms of setup. And then... So this is my page for Wavy for, Rev for Resonance. Um, I decided that I'm going to collect Yang Yang for sure. Um, so, outside of my top six, the two members I for sure decided that I want to collect is Yang Yang and Johnny because they're cheaper. It's not likely that I'll end up getting Mark and Jaehyun's cards, so um, I'm for sure gonna collect, I guess, my top eight. Yeah, so that means I'm collecting four Wavy members now, and also, yeah. So I am going to put Ten's cards here, I, Lucas's cards here, I think, and then I'm gonna put Xiaojun here. So I do have Xiaojun's future cards, so you can put that one down here. And then I have this Yang Yang, so Yang Yang, this is his past card, so this one can go here. And then I do have Lucas's yearbook card, so I'm going to put that one in the middle. So then eventually this entire page will be filled. And hopefully this ends up turning out well, looking okay. I guess I did forget I also have a Super M card I need to put away. So I have this 10 ID, so I did trade my extra Taeyong for it. And yeah, I'm almost done with this collection, I just have this card, which is on the way, so... You know, it'll be here eventually. And then I'm going to... I did rearrange everything here. Um, so I'm just going to put the uh, resonance postcards, like the international postcards, back here. They unfortunately don't fit in a three pocket, which is kind of devastating. But um, I'm going to put 10 in first up here, actually. I'm gonna put 10 in Jeno. I'm gonna put Jeno behind 10, so I have 10 here. And then I have Utah's, which will just go down here. So, yes, that is that. Yeah, with that said, I guess I'll just leave this here, but that was it for this clip. We'll see if I have another one. I'm honestly not sure if I have more stuff coming before the end of the month, but I guess we'll see. Okay, hi everyone. So, this is going to be the last clip of this video. I just have a few things to put away really quickly. So I'm going to start off first in my obtention binder because I just have fewer things to put away here. So yeah, I'm going to go back here to light up. Okay, so basically I just really confused myself because I have this Kogyo card here. And if we go back a little bit, we go back to this set, which is the k for You set. It looks exactly the same, basically. Just zoomed in a bit. Like, it kind of looks like the same exact picture, but also not at the same time. It's weird. But, um, yeah, that threw me off so much. But, yes. The thing about the, like, pre-order cards for Uptention is that some of them, not all of them, look really similar to album cards. So it's kind of hard to differentiate. But, yeah, that's... I technically kind of have one full set done. Um, I think, if we look on the backs here, the Juani and Bito cards are actually from the opposite set. But I still kind of have half the cards, so... It works, but yeah, so that's what I have here. Um, I think I have Kuhn's other card on the- actually, I think I have 
all of Kuhn's cards like on the way. The two of his I don't have. I have the other Sunyol card on the way. I'm definitely doing some work, but then here I have this Bito card. So this one goes here. And I'm getting closer with this. I definitely have some cards. I do have, I believe, all of Koyo's cards on the way as well. So yes, that's really nice. And But yeah, that's everything I have to put away for this binder. I'm really excited to like set this up for OT10. Um, I'm thinking I'll do a video for it, but I'm super excited. All right, so here's my NCT binder. And I don't have like much to put in here, but it is more than two cards. So... Let's see. I don't have anything to put away. I think I have to go. Well, wait. I do have this Utah yearbook card. So I plan to put this right in the middle here. So it'll be like Taeyong's cards on the top here. And then a Utah row. And then Johnny's cards will go down here. If and when I get those. But then now I have to go back to Wavy. I do have this Lucas card. This is his future version. So... Um, I believe that would go here. So, yeah. And I think I am in the process of trading for his past card. And then I do have Xiao Jun's past card on the way. Um, I do have, I think, both of Ten's cards on the way. I did um, trade for one of Ten's cards. I think it was his past card. But I did trade that away for something else because I had bought Ten's past card. I don't know, it was a weird situation. I traded for it before I knew I had secured it, so. But then, lastly, we have this page. Let's see. I finally finished this collection with this Taeyong card, and I'm super excited about it. So I can put that away, and then we can put Super 1 to rest. I don't know if I'm going to collect the uh, other version cards. I am unsure, but I if I can find them for good prices, I will, but really I'm not worried about it, but. Yeah, and then I have some bigger things to put away. So I don't know where I'm going to put these, so just give me a second and I'll figure it out. Okay, so the last things I have to put away are these Super M postcards. And I'm just putting them all the way at the back for now because I did recently reorganize all of my bigger things for NCT, so I don't know exactly right now where they would fit in with everything else. So I'll have to take more time later to deal with that, but for right now, we can do this. So... Um, I think these fit into three pockets, but for right now, I'm going to put them front to back, so front to back by member, and I'm just going to put whatever postcard I prefer on the front. Then we have tens here, and taeongs here, so I think, yeah, that way. So yeah, that's how that will look, and then... I do have marks as well, and I'm just going to stick them like this, because I just, I don't know where else I would put them. All right, yes, so that was everything for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on my next video.